in recording. So I will just start. So thank you uh, for coming today for our webinar and uh, presentation of uh, Field B, uh, GPS system. And uh, I uh, would like uh, to welcome you here and uh, also ask maybe uh, you can write to me uh, from where, uh, from which country are you? I'm very curious about it. Yes, uh, I will yeah, read it later. So I will just go uh, to my slides and will uh, share the information uh, that I prepared. So uh, this webinar can be useful for farmers uh, that are interested to buy auto steer system and don't know which system to choose and don't know how to start uh, with a GPS system. And also the thing that it is too expensive actually to buy a tractor auto steer or even GPS system. And uh, why I'm talking about this, my name is Natalie Utkina, I'm working in Field B and I'm already in precision farming for five years. And uh, uh, about e-farmer company, uh, we started uh, six, almost seven years ago already and we have offices in uh, Netherlands and also uh, we have uh, talents and team uh, in Ukraine. Uh, we have customers uh, more in 50, than in 55, uh, 50 countries worldwide. Most of them are from Germany. Uh, and that's also saying something about our products, uh, that uh, German farmers, they choose our product over other uh, products available on the market. Um, uh, what also is interesting about us that uh, Field B, brand uh, was created during a crowdfunding campaign so uh, many farmers from 35 countries worldwide uh, they actually supported our crowdfunding and they uh, sent us money to develop our l2 receiver it was uh, l1 and l2 receiver it was already three years ago and that also our mission actually is to help farmers in their uh, great job to feed the world and we want to help farmers to do this transition into more productive and more sustain sustainable way of agriculture and uh, we try to do it with help of uh, smarter machines automation of operations uh, we are it company that would like to make this uh, precision farming available and accessible uh, to every farmer worldwide and um, we also really uh, uh, think that that can help uh, farmers to be a little bit more happier uh, and have more time for, for other things, for more important things maybe. Uh, so that's uh, about uh, the company and about me. And let's go to the first question uh, that I want to ask you. And the question is, uh, do you need tractor auto steer system? And that would be also nice if you can share with me uh, this, uh, if you need it, and also uh, if yes, why, and if not, uh, also why. <laughs> so please uh, write it in comments. And I will go to uh, next slide, and I will address uh, firstly uh, the question about uh, the price. Yes, and that it is too expensive to have tractor GPS system uh, currently for farmers. And I will be sharing with you information uh, from uh, our farmers. So we have already a lot of customers, and uh, we ask them how much money they safe with a GPS system and also what are other benefits of using GPS system and uh, here what they share with us so it's information from farmers it's not something that we invented ourselves uh, and um, for sure savings and uh, cost benefits uh, from uh, precision farming and from GPS system uh, they are very different from different farm uh, they very depend on what you grow and also the type of your fields and also uh, yeah, the, the type of operations that you perform and accuracy that you have uh, with your system. Is it GPS system, manual guidance uh, or auto steer system? So a lot, a lot of things. 
uh, but still uh, farmers uh, were mentioning to us, uh, for example, grassland farmers who grow uh, grass for the uh, cattle, uh, they say that they can save approximately 20, 40 euros per hectare, which is around 30, 50 euros, I think, or dollars. So, um, and then, uh, potato uh, farmer, for example, he calculated his uh, benefits from uh, auto steer system as 240 euros, it's around 300 uh, dollars per hectare. And uh, that's huge. Uh, that's also uh, maybe uh, not only uh, efficiency in materials, in seeds, in fertilizers uh, are important here, but time, uh, the time that farmers save uh, when they're uh, using GPS system, especially uh, with uh, different patterns that they can use. They can save time on uh, these uh, turns at the end of the field and uh, many other things. And uh, from community, uh, we, we received information that maybe it is around 15 minutes per operation. That gives you uh, sometimes few hours extra per day. And it's very interesting for me to know how much would you value this uh, two uh, more extra hours per day of actually productive work? Because what's also uh, the benefit is that farmers are not exhausted uh, from uh, field operations. So they can use their brain and their energy for other things. And uh, I think two more hours during the high season uh, can bring a lot of value uh, to farmers. So that's uh, also um, the benefit that uh, our customers highlights a lot, highlight a lot, um, is ability to work at night in low visibility. And uh, we know the story when uh, we traveled to Finland and uh, it was beginning of October and uh, we met farmers there and farmers basically lost their harvest this season because snow came very fast uh, and covered their fields uh, very fast and unexpectedly. And uh, most farmers that could not collect their harvest and it was left in the field, in, in fields. And it was really, really sad uh, situation. And I remember the faces of farmers and uh, really sad, you know, story. And our customer who had field B system back then, he was actually happy because he uh, was able to collect his far harvest just in time. He was able to work at night. But even more, he actually helped his friend, his neighbor, to do the same. So I think that it is a very important benefit. And uh, uh, farmers also need to take it into account when they think about the cost and whether it is uh, uh, important to have GPS system. Uh, for sure, uh, benefits of uh, decreasing uh, uh, environmental impact. Uh, so if you can save with fertilizers and maybe even try new ways of doing farming, more organic ways, uh, that's everything become uh, possible with uh, auto steer system and with high precision. Uh, also, uh, what we know and what we see that uh, actually precision farming, GPS, auto steers, it's future and it's actually already near future so that is the change that's already started and um, I think it is very important uh, that farmers also understand it, that they need to change they need to change the way how they do uh, operations currently and uh, yeah it's better to be always first and to adopt these things first and to have more advantage uh, uh, earlier you know then later. So that's also uh, important. From our customers, we hear that uh, with uh, auto steer system, they're, they're able to save around 30% of their costs annually. With uh, GPS manual system, it is uh, less, like 15% maybe. And for sure, it's very uh, different from farm to farm. Um, and what they say that they consider payback from uh, our uh, GPS system, for example, is only one, one and a half years. 
And uh, there are already a lot of studies about benefits of precision farming, and some of them, they share that eventually uh, precision farming can uh, save up to 70% of costs of food production. And uh, it is not only about auto steer system, but it is actually everything. When every piece of land and every drop of water uh, is precise and is used uh, at exact amounts. Um, so that's uh, the benefits of a GPS system. And uh, for me, when uh, farmers say that it is too expensive, I think that it is too expensive to actually lose 30% of your costs annually. That is expensive. And um, to have also uh, risks uh, like losing your harvest or other things uh, because you cannot uh, work in a different way. So I think that is expensive. And now I would like to go to the next question, which is uh, which system to choose. So I hope that uh, by now you already start to think about uh, getting uh, auto steer system and GPS system. And now probably you are confused on uh, which system to choose. And here I would like to share with you um, my personal story and story of my partner. So it started seven years ago, uh, me and my husband, uh, we uh, had to leave uh, our country, Ukraine, because uh, the war started and we moved to Netherlands. And uh, we were also thinking, what shall we do <laughs> for life? And we had the IT background uh, and uh, our partner, uh, Alexey Bogatyrov, it's our CTO in our company. He uh, he was working in big agriculture holding in Ukraine, and uh, on his free time, he uh, created mobile application for farmers. So he was uh, installing uh, ERP systems, and he just thought that th some things can be done easier and can be shared with everyone. And this application, uh, it, the name was eFarmer application, started to collect a lot of downloads. So we saw that there is a need for this uh, among, among farmers. And that's how uh, we decided to pack our uh, kid and also our uh, staff and uh, went on a trip uh, to visit some uh, countries like France, Germany, Austria, and we met farmers. And that was when I met farmers for, for the first time. And I was amazed, you know, I have never met farmers before and I was really impressed uh, about the people. Uh, all of them were great people, like amazing people. And I had a few insights, you know, one insight is that uh, farmers are superheroes. So what they do is so important and, um, yeah, uh, it's just really cool. And the second insight is uh, that the job that they do is so difficult. It's really, really difficult. And a lot of things that they cannot control and they work hard. And uh, yeah, and uh, we just started to ask farmers, how can we help them? How technologies can help them? And farmers were mentioning a lot of um problems for sure it's, it was always uh, government on top and uh, weather issues uh, risks involved with that um, but what always uh, was also on top is actually auto steer system uh, and we were surprised you know because back then it was uh, six years ago a gps system was already in every uh, machine and um, there were already available products for farmers like GPS systems from big uh, brands, Trimble, John Deere. So we thought like, why? Why they don't have this if it's such a big problem? And we realized that they just could not afford uh, the system uh, because the price for those solutions uh, are were high and still is high. Uh, so we thought that it is unfair, <laughs> it's really unfair, you know, uh, that farmers don't have access to this useful technology that can really help them a lot and help uh, uh, not only them, but people that they feed and environments, so a lot of benefits from this. And that's when we actually decided to commit 
uh, to create this affordable precision system for farmers. And uh, we did our research. Uh, and as you, that's why also I'm sharing how to choose the system because you might be uh, in the uh, same uh, mindset of uh, choosing the system. So we evaluated all the um, equipment that was available on the market and we just started uh, to talk to farmers and we figured out that what are the most important things in tractor GPS system. And we got to uh, the three main points. It's accuracy. And it should be really high accuracy. What we uh, found out from farmers that shared with us that basically um, current solutions, most of the solutions, they offer two types of accuracy. One accuracy is submitter accuracy and um, farmers, uh, yeah, it's, it's priced lower. Uh, and then there is this uh, higher accuracy, RTK accuracy. And many farmers who actually started to use this lower accuracy system because it's more affordable, they ended up with solution that actually they could not use for old field operations. So they could not use this accuracy for seeding. They could not use it for some uh, crops that requires uh, accuracy. They could not use it for all operations. So they paid money and they got the solution that was only partially helpful. And uh, if to upgrade it to higher accuracy, <laughs> they were entering a really like expensive cost of RTK signal. And uh, th that was not uh, already, you know, justifying those expenses were uh, too high. So uh, we, we realized that we need to bring the highest possible accuracy uh, at the lowest possible price. Uh, affordable so that's also very important yes because uh, the cost of the uh, solutions that uh, were available were too high way too high to pay back uh, in a small uh, smaller farms and also reliable because that is uh, very important uh, for farmers to rely on equipment because when they have season and something breaks down and they don't have help uh, with this uh, in a short time, then it actually jeopardizes all year, you know, all the season, everything can really be screwed. So reliability of solution is also very, very important. So taking uh, those three factors uh, in our uh, mind, we then checked uh, what are components of tractor auto steer system. And that's also what I want you to understand when you're choosing a solution, that you uh, look at different components and uh, understand how it actually works and created and was created. So main components of auto steer system are uh, terminal or navigation software. Uh, yes, and uh, you see very often uh, it's in like a terminal with uh, functionality that allows you to drive in lines, uh, save your data, etc., etc. So that's this uh, interface that you see. Then uh, you have antenna that gives you accuracy, yes, uh, because farmers need a specific pass-to-pass -pass accuracy and that is repeatable, so it's very specific uh, accuracy that uh, you need. And this uh, special uh, GPS antenna that allows this accuracy. Uh, then uh, you have uh, RTK correction, so you, you should have uh, this extra accuracy, yes, uh, up to one centimeter. Then uh, goes uh, auto steer controller, and uh, often it uh, it is from few parts. One part uh, is a controller that actually controls the wheel, so it goes either under the wheel or it it goes as uh, changing the wheel completely. Um, and uh, sometimes uh, you go for hydraulic system, then it goes just uh, inside the tractor and the brain of steering uh, model. So the computer that actually provides this auto steering functionality. So those are uh, main components. Some companies, they have uh, antenna built in into the terminal. Some companies have uh, steering uh, model uh, like 
the brain and the control are also built together. So there might be some differences, but th those are main components. And we just started to think how we can uh, make them uh, more affordable, you know, decrease cost of those uh, parts to eventually, uh, yeah, make th this solution uh, cheaper for farmers. And we started from uh, Android application. So we realized that it's much cheaper and much better to bring this uh, software, this interface, uh, not on the terminal, but actually on your smartphone and tablet. And uh, it's not only uh, beneficial because you can use your own uh, smartphone uh, already now, but also because in case it, uh, I don't know, breaks or uh, you lose it, <laughs> you just need to pay uh, extra 400, 600 euros and not 3.5 uh, thousand or 5 thousand euros that some companies charge for terminal. Then also using a uh, smartphone allows you to have some extra really cool uh, uh, ways to work in your field. So you can have the same uh, software on your smartphone and to go go into the field and to do scouting. And uh, with uh, geolocation, you can make notes in your uh, smartphone. Maybe you spotted some weird uh, place and you want to go back to it later. So you can do it on the smartphone. Then you can use your tablet in the cabin to actually see the lines and navigation and uh, it can steer also your tractor. And uh, also uh, everything, all information can be collected and then you can go to your office and open a uh, web application on your laptop and you can see data from your operations and everything in report. So a lot of advantages uh, of this way of building uh, the solution. Then we go to affordable versus expensive uh, system. So we realized that some companies, they actually sell RTK system at uh, crazy money, like 15,000 euros. Um, uh, and yeah, it's just too expensive. Uh, there, uh, we checked the market and there were no, um, uh, no affordable uh, ways to provide high accuracy. That's why we actually created our own uh, receiver. And we collected money from farmers who pre-ordered this uh, during our crowdfunding campaign. And they helped us to build actually a really great product because they were uh, helping uh, us with questions. They asked us, will it work with that and with that? They helped us to test it, uh, to twist it. So we ended up with really great uh, product. And uh, yeah, uh, at very affordable price. It's really the cheapest uh, uh, antenna in this range. So then we go to the tip that I want to share with you when you will be uh, choosing your solution is to still try to go for the highest possible accuracy, at least request the price for it. Because if you go for something lower and then eventually you will uh, decide to upgrade, you need to understand what is the step there. And then also check uh, availability of entry provider. And entry provider is uh, some local uh, company that provides this RTK accuracy to farmers and to other uh, companies that require this accuracy. In many countries already, this um, uh, signal is already free of charge. Like we have in Germany, in uh, Belgium, in other countries. On our website, we have also actually uh, from collected information from our farmers, uh, which entry providers in which countries uh, are available. So that can drastically decrease the cost of accuracy for you because that means that you buying only one antenna, you can connect to this free signal and get the highest accuracy uh, that you could. Okay, so we go now to reliable uh, versus do-it-yourself auto-steer. The next point uh, that we reached was to choose uh, auto-steer controller. And also uh, having conversations with farmers, with our community, we realized that the most important 
characteristics that uh, you should also search in uh, your auto steer controller are it should have tilt compensation uh, and because uh, almost every field has bumps and uh, hills and uh, tilt compensation uh, will allow you to still get this high accuracy without it the deviation in accuracy can be really high it can be i don't know half of the meter uh, so it's really important then uh, for sure uh, that this auto steer controller sh should be compatible with many tractor models and changeable between them that's actually excellent uh, thing yes to have one auto steer and some extra cables maybe and just to change it from machine to machine then also uh, it should work on different speeds, uh, low speed and high speed. And I really recommend you also to think what kind of speeds you need, because that's something uh, that not all farmers know in the beginning. And you need to check whether this system is capable of providing you this speed that you want. For example, a field B auto steer, it, it can be as slow as 1.6 kilometer per, per hour. Or with extra wheel angle sensor, it can be even twice uh, slower. So it's like less than one kilometer per hour. One more important characteristics is actually um, uh, calibration. That's uh, part of the uh, solution. Uh, if you want it to work nicely and to be very precise, you need to calibrate the system. Uh, and I will share later how uh, and what does it mean. Uh, just check that uh, this uh, this is possible, this is available, and that you can uh, use this functionality. For sure, it should be safe because uh, auto steer takes over your control over machine for a while. But uh, yes, it should be safe for, for you and for other. It should be reliable. I mentioned it already that you don't want it to break down during the high season and also accurate. Um, so this auto steer solution that you choose should provide you with high accuracy. That's why uh, when we were uh, checking the market, we found uh, OEM solution uh, that many companies are using. It's Class, Mueller, Ugly, Dirty Jet. Uh, and we choose that quality over, you know, low cost. Uh, and that's why, uh, for example, our kit, uh, it has two years warranty and also uh, one advantage from it that it's something that uh, engineers and uh, mechanics they familiar with so if you have somebody who is installing auto steers they would probably also be able to do this for you okay let's go then to the next uh, uh, out of three uh, affordable how we uh, decided, yes, and we're able to make the solution more affordable. So first, uh, as I said already, we decreased costs on terminals. So for, uh, I think it can be approximately two and a half, four thousand euros, uh, just only on this part of solution. And then on the accuracy, because accuracy is, uh, yeah, you can save up to 12,000 euro uh, on accuracy. So now I, I, I would like to see, yeah, uh, that we go to our next question, how to use the system. Um, many farmers, they, I think they don't start uh, using GPS system because they don't know how uh, to do that, how to start with this. And uh, maybe also I was joking that some farmers, they just like, they just like a little bit of suffering you know during the field operations <laughs> um here i just also want to share with you uh how to uh, start with it and many farmers they would like to have solution that with one magic button just starts and start working uh, immediately and uh, unfortunately uh, that's not a case uh, and some are, uh, farmers, they're just really scared because for them, using auto steer looks like this, uh, as, as if they should start uh, to learn how to use uh, a plane. The truth is some, somewhere in between. Uh, here I shared with you some product architecture that we have in our solution. And uh, you can see here uh, that 
some connection goes through wireless uh, ways like Wi-Fi and N3. No cables here. Some uh, connections go through cables. And here um, in our solution, we have less cables. Our architecture of our equipment is IoT. It means Internet of Things. It's fancy world, word. And if you don't know uh, what does it mean in practice, it means that our components of solution communicate with each other through Wi-Fi. And they give their uh, statuses to the system about uh, how they operate. And that's how we can know uh, which component works well and what are the issues. And that's also why we can help you remotely to help uh, remotely to set up uh, your system for you or do some changes uh, that's possible because of this architecture. And um, for sure, Many uh, factors uh, are uh, important uh, to get this really optimal way of working. And uh, some factors uh, like environment, for example, of your farm. So it's really important if you have uh, power lines or high trees, high buildings next to your farm, something that uh, can distort the signal, for example. It's very important to have really good internet uh, in your fields and also at the home when you uh, put base station, for example. Uh, though we have solution uh, for areas without internet, uh, it can work with radio uh, transmission, this signal, but the distance is uh, much uh, smaller. So the distance with radio is two kilometers and with uh, Wi-Fi it's 20 kilometers. It's also important that all components that I showed before, that they, they all work uh, correctly and well. Uh, and sometimes some of them can, uh, yeah, has some issues. So it's really important that systems knows, uh, system knows uh, which component needs to be adjusted. Then also uh, what you need to understand that a system receives signal from satellites. And satellites, uh, they, their signal can be distorted uh, due to also some uh, things like um, they can be away from, uh, not uh, under uh, you, you know, so in the sky there can be less satellites than uh, should be, then the signal can be worth, worse. The weather sometimes also affects it. Although in our L2 receiver, which means dual signal, um, the impact of weather is not so strong. Military zones, for some farmers it can be really a painful thing because they have military zones or borders next to them. Um, then, uh, unfortunately, they could not have uh, RTK signal. Then also, I think that the most important part of this solution is actually a very special gasket. And this gasket is the driver. So I think that the uh, driver and the farmer uh, also, uh, not also, but actually the main important thing in, uh, in this solution. Because uh, if you understand how the system works, if you install it by yourself, that's why we also suggest this offer as the preferred one, and you uh, actually uh, know how, how it should work and parameters and factors that affect it, then you... Uh, can easier, uh, you know, change it and make it uh, work. And even if you contact us to get some help, you already uh, ask uh, really right questions, you know, and you can get fast replies, fast, fast answers and uh, make it run again. So that's very important. Uh, I think involvement of, of farmers and drivers, that there is nobody, you know, uh, magic uh, who can solve all, all these things for you because that's your farm. And uh, we also try to make our product fun, you know, it's application. And uh, I think some farmers, they actually like to work with this, to play with this, learn it. So here we go to another question is actually how to start. Uh, and I can share with you how uh, we work with farmers uh, and how we start, yes, with them. So first, uh, farmer needs to uh, send us 
information about the tractor, the model, the year of manufacturing, uh, and also if they know whether the tractor is still ready or not. And sometimes uh, that would be very nice if you can share uh, your steering uh, wheel and uh, just for us to be sure that there is a space under the steering wheel. Um, that uh, we we'll take into account and also we ask you about the fields that you have, the crops that you grow, what accuracy you want to achieve, the speed uh, of the system that you want to have. And we combine all these uh, questions uh, and make you an offer about the setup of solutions that will be the most beneficial for your farm. We ship everything in a box and we ship to every country and we have already customers in 60 countries. So uh, you have also manuals and videos uh, how to use the system. And then uh, we really advise to start with downloading the application. Actually, you can download this already now and uh, get used to it and see how it works. Uh, so that's the first step. Then second step is uh, putting antenna on your tractor. And you, uh, in case you have plastic roof, you need some uh, metal plate because tr uh, antenna has magnets. And uh, if the, the roof is from metal, then you don't need anything. Just um, put it on the top of your roof uh, and it will be connected to your application. Uh, here it's very easy. Uh, application will see this device as external antenna and will connect it uh, to it automatically. Next uh, step is to get RTK. And here things start to get a little bit more complicated because uh, to get RTK accuracy, uh, you can do it in uh, two main ways. One is connect to local entry provider, as I mentioned before. For that, you need first to contact this provider, ask uh, credentials, register with them, uh, and ask uh, all information that is necessary to insert in our application. And then uh, you need to have internet uh, in your uh, tractor uh, in order to have the signal through the internet. And you can have this internet uh, with uh, your, for example, phone, you can share your ho hotspot, uh, or later I will sell, uh, tell you about other way how to get good internet in your cabin. And another thing is to, you can have your own base station if, for example, an entry provider is not available, then uh, you need uh, first to uh, make this uh, base station uh, work. You need to connect base station to the uh, GPS antenna and uh, connect uh, this uh, base station to the internet and put it somewhere on really high place, the highest place that you can find on your farm, uh, better yet close to your fields that uh, create the radius of 20 kilometers from your farm. And then um, when you place a uh, base station, base station should have a really stable, good Wi-Fi connection. People use some extension to provide this Wi-Fi. Uh, it should have, uh, yes, electricity. Uh, and then uh, that's it, basically. That is why it's a little bit more difficult, because you need to install uh, and place this base station uh, somewhere high. Then the next thing is Wi-Fi router. So if you want to use already, it, uh, before you could uh, provide Wi-Fi uh, through your phone in the cabin and base station will work uh, with Wi-Fi of your farm or your home Wi-Fi. But here, if you want to go further with auto steer, uh, we offer a Wi-Fi router because Wi-Fi stability in your tractor becomes very critical for all system operation. And that special router we adjusted. So uh, yeah, you, you, that is important to have. And next step is to do installation of, uh, of auto steer. And uh, if it is manual guidance uh, or mechanical auto steer, like you see before, it's our best selling offer. It's uh, simple to install and many farmers can do it themselves. Uh, and uh, basically we don't have questions uh, here, uh, uh, not a lot. So it's really not, uh, not difficult. And if you don't want to do it yourself, there are always these mechanics that install other systems, class, Miller, T-Jet, uh, 
that can uh, help you with installation. And then, uh, yes, I need also to, to tell here that installation uh, of mechanical auto steer can be done easily by yourself. But if you go for hydraulic, uh, for example, installation, uh, then for sure it should be done by professional uh, mechanic because uh, that gets inside your tractor and uh, it affects your hydraulic system. So it should be done professionally. The next step is um, calibration that I mentioned. Once you have everything installed and uh, that's a great moment, you need to calibrate the system in order it works uh, the way it should. For that, you need to have a special field. Uh, it's around 300 meters and you need to perform special uh, driving patterns that also everything is explained. Uh, and basically, that's it. Uh, now, uh, on every step of this process, our uh, team uh, from support, they guide you and they uh, give you help, uh, everything, every help that you need. So then you have after you install everything and you you start to test, you have 30 days to test and to see uh, how solution works uh, in your environment. And um, yeah, you can see a nice video from our customer here. After you test it, uh, you can adjust settings and we can also help you with that remotely. So uh, there are a lot of settings uh, can, that can work differently uh, and it's very important to make these adjustments from time to time in order to make the, the uh, solution works like at the best. Sometimes farmers are not happy with uh, the result and uh, within 30 days you can have a hassle-free refund. So you just uh, uh, tell us the reason and uh, we, uh, yeah, you pack the system, send it back and we refund it uh, to you completely. Uh, I uh, must say that it doesn't happen often, but sometimes, yeah, uh, sometimes it can and I think it's very important for you also to know that uh, you have this option. So you pay a lot of money for something and we really uh, try and help you to make it work and to make it useful. But if it's not useful, we're okay. Uh, we will take it back and that's also not a problem for us. We offer two years warranty, as I mentioned before, and I think it's also very important for you two and a half, four thousand euros just on terminal because we get rid of it. Then uh, you can have uh, 12,000 euros uh, value just on RTK accuracy. I think it's important to say again about annual uh, savings uh, around 30% and for sure this nice uh, special discount of 10%. And uh, just to also, uh, you know, build a little bit um, trust <laughs> between us, um, I want to share this article. It's from Top Agrar uh, magazine. It's one of the leading magazines in Germany. And they had our system for one year and they tested it from zero, uh, you know, from the beginning of the season until the end. And then they wrote uh, their actually uh, article and they really uh, pointed us uh, as a low priced and uh, high accuracy solution on the market and as, as i mentioned also before many germans uh, it's our main market now they choose uh, our solution over other brands and uh, it also says, you know, about uh, the way how we used to work because those are great customers and they train our service and uh, our product. They have really high standards and we, uh, we try to match uh, them. Uh, if you have any questions, please, you can uh, write here or you can also write us uh, in emails afterwards because we will send this presentation in email and uh, yeah if you will watch it in the record as a recording then you can ask questions uh, in the mail we will be really happy to answer all your questions yeah 
Yes, I see Freya, you got answer to your question. What internet speed is required for the RTK base uh, station? Um, it's a good question, uh, but I don't know actually uh, answer. I know that it is 3G that we use, so it's already enough. Uh, but technical questions, uh, better ask our technical team. And I, that's uh, why also I would like to mention about uh, next webinar that we plan, we have uh, Precision Academy where we share uh, all stories and tips about adoption of these technologies. Uh, and we have our Alexey Bogatyrov, our CTO. He is a great, uh, passionate uh, IT person in agriculture. And then he say really, uh, you know, he can answer all your questions about te uh, technical questions. And he plan to share information how to use implements with our our software so how to add them to the system and if they're uh, with different uh, width how to uh, plan your routes and to save your routes that you can return to them so it's um, something that I advise you to to come uh, James uh, what is the cost for the RTK base station it is uh, 1.7 thousand euros um, I don't know James from uh, which country uh, you are Okay, so um, let's continue. And I have just a few slides left. And uh, I, yeah, I understand that maybe, maybe it's still um, expensive and you think that it's just too high the price. Uh, and I can imagine that if you are somewhere in New Zealand, Australia, then uh, you may be <laughs> uh, scared to send your money and uh, I don't know, uh, not sure. Uh, so for that, we really, really uh, still recommend you to start somewhere. And you can start from downloaded our application, which is free. And uh, that can be a good beginning or even from manual guidance system. Uh, and the price for it is really uh, affordable and you can eventually upgrade to auto steer afterwards or return it. <laughs> and also, um, yeah, I want to say maybe you have questions about the uh, shipping and working in your country. Uh, so, uh, for example, Australia, New Zealand, because we invited today people from those countries. Uh, we have uh, customers in your countries, uh, not many at the moment, but they're working with the system. So it is working there and we are helping them remotely um, we don't have uh, in your countries uh, local representatives uh, which also may be a good opportunity maybe somebody will decide to um, to be our ambassador we really uh, like this way of working with farmers so if they uh, buy the system they uh, know how to use it and then they want to uh, share their knowledge we, we give really nice ambassador uh, program when you you can share uh, tips with other farmers and get re really nice bonuses from us okay um, yes uh, what is tough you you got reply yes from Maria uh, about for uh, tablets yes we uh, have recommended devices and the price of them is 400 600 euros so that can be already the start and it's really uh, good to have a case and holder because yeah you don't want to to hold it in your hands uh, during the trip so it's really advisable and the case should be really rugged because yeah, all these environments of the farm are really harsh so uh, one more time uh Start somewhere, yes, because uh, if you always do what you've always done, you always get what you've always gotten. That's really <laughs> a saying that everyone knows. And if you want to uh, stop, uh, you know, save, uh, stop losing money uh, in, in inefficient operations or to spend too much time in the field or be super tired after those operations. So just start somewhere. And that's the future, you know, um, that's how actually farming will look like so it's really advisable to be in the first uh you know uh, train then somewhere at the back 
And uh, if you are interested in this offer, uh, you can uh, send us uh, email and say that you participated in this webinar and we'll, uh, our sales team will then guide you and will prepare offer for you. And I really uh, want to say thank you for being here. And uh, yeah, I just uh, really appreciate and your work uh everything that farmers do and we believe that farmers they uh deserve to be happier and uh you know improve your work uh life conditions so hopefully we'll see you as our customers thank you everyone bye